Hey everybody, it's January 1st, 2023. Gonna hit up Uber. Starting off the year with a pretty good pickup. Three deliveries, $23. It'll probably take an hour, but you know, 23, that's pretty good. And I mean, you know, things go all right. It'll be less than an hour. So yeah, picking up a lot of soups. And uh, you know how it is guys, delivering those soups. All in all it took about 40 minutes, so that's pretty good. If I actually got another request in that next 20 minutes it'd be uh, even better. And you'd think, you know, it started to rain, or like, maybe this is like a light snow or something, I don't know. You'd think Uber would be popping, but it kind of wasn't popping. Here I am just like waiting for my next uh, pickup. And after a while I was like, well, I guess I'll I'll do a McDonald's one just to fill the time because I wasn't getting many requests. But that was a mistake. I spent like 10 minutes waiting for one order and that McDonald's I was like, this isn't worth it. And then I canceled. And then I spent another like five minutes because there's another McDonald's one. It was like $12 and Again, just not worth it, guys. McDonald's was a mistake. Did not pick up from McDonald's. So then I wound up picking from Aroma and uh, the Sunny Grill House or whatever. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna deliver to another Andrew W. Kind of weird. I, they had two Andrew W. orders there, and an Andrew W. delivered one of them. It's just like wow. A lot of Andrew W's in this world, I guess. So yeah, by the ice condos, classic police out in front. Probably some Airbnb shit going down. Yeah, people moving in. You know, first of the month. Pretty uh, classic. Oh, and I'm delivering to the CN Tower. This feels like a cliche. Even though I've never delivered to the CN Tower before, but, you know, if they ever did a movie about a delivery guy in Toronto, you know he'd be delivering to the CN Tower. Yeah. Again, a little bit of downtime, but not really. Picked up from Chipotle, and, uh, the dessert place that's built into that, I don't know, New York Fries or whatever it's called. Yeah, almost delivered to the wrong building. 215, actually. Supposed to deliver to 219. And then since I'm over here, I was like, oh, might as well look at this junk pile. You know, it's the beginning of the month. People just moved out and probably left some neat junk behind. Here's a PC. It's like, huh, pretty small motherboard for a big case like this. I left 8 gigs of RAM behind, which I assume would still work as long as it was dry and small enough why not take them here's a thing of luggage you know I don't actually need luggage but it's always interesting people just be throwing out their luggage perfectly fine and uh, I don't know there's a bunch of other stuff but it looked too garbagey to really pick through then I saw this balloon fall from this guy I was like huh I wonder if some kid dropped this off their balcony but yeah, just hook that into a trash can because, I don't know, duck would probably eat it or something. There's a bunch of trash chairs. Enough parts that you could probably fix that chair, but, eh, not really worth it. So yeah, my batteries are kind of low now and I'm heading home. I feel like I was online for a while there and uh, wasted a lot of time waiting at restaurants, but that's how it is sometimes. Still did pretty decent. $96 in under three and a half hours. You know, if I didn't spend half an hour waiting at restaurants, like, that'd be really good. So I decided to head out again at nighttime. Hopefully it'll still be good. There's even a quest going on. Four deliveries, you get an extra six bucks. Well, that's something. I'm waiting at the Sushi Inn, which is a shame because it's like right around the corner from where I'm actually delivering to. 
This guy like waited an extra 10 minutes for no reason. Kinda hate that it doesn't show me where the next guy's delivery is until I finish all my pickups. Cause I could have delivered and then came back and picked that sushi food up. But the people, they talked to me and said that some driver stole the last order. So they were all behind and that's why it took a while. Anyhow, some more downtime here. Walking by the Hudson Bay Christmas displays. They didn't change anything this year, so I'm kind of just speed running it. In case you haven't seen it before and don't want to go back to like where I've shown it before, because <laughs> I don't know what episode that was. But yeah, still there, kind of neat. And then I got some uh, requests for the 7-Eleven, which was a bust. Apparently somebody stole the last order, I think. No, they said somebody else collected it and I had to report it on the app, but already collected. Got some Hero Burger and some bubble tea. You know, not too much waiting there. Deliver to 16 Bonnie Castle. Yeah. That live wall, still looking good. New York, that was a fast drop off. A person was waiting in the lobby. Very nice. And I think from here it was pretty slow. Kind of just gonna head home now. See if I get any more pickups. I think I'm like one over the quest. You know, it's like it's nice to end on like four or eight deliveries when there's a quest so you like don't do any extra without getting a reward for it. But it was so slow, it's like eh, I'll just go home. Made $133 at the end of the day, which is, uh, you know, that's good, I guess. Yeah, later dudes.